So today I'm going to talk about dress code. Yes, you guys have been asking. I've been squinting my eyes as if I didn't see it, but I can't ignore it anymore. So, so today I'm going to give you a guide, show you some of the things you can wear, some of the uh, dresses you can wear, the things you can wear to your nursing interview for both male and female. So let's dive right in. The fact that you want to be a nurse means that you've seen nurses all around. You've seen us in our uniform like this one or brown or white uniform. And if there's anything you can see about our uniform is that it's modest. Modest means that it's not, you're not exposing your body part. It's, you look put together, you know, your hair is nice put held up it's not touching your color and so when it comes to the interview that is what the panelists will also be looking at can you dress modestly can you appear uh, in a place and you look put together you look professional you look like somebody who is approachable who is likable who a patient will want to walk to you and talk to you and talk to you about the problems they are having that is the aim of that is what you should have in the back of your mind when you are trying to pick out your outfit for your nursing interview. It shouldn't be something so over the top, what you You are not going for a, a secretaryship or executive position. This is nursing and you know, you've seen how we dress. It's simple, nice and put together and that is what your aim should be. So that being said, let's look at some of the things that you can wear as a lady and as a guy. So I'll talk about the ladies first and then we'll move to the gentlemen. Now, things you shouldn't wear, trousers, any trouser of any kind, whether it's a suit trouser, a jumpsuit, one piece attire that breaks into trousers, anything that has one leg there, the other leg, no. And definitely no jeans. Going for both the boys and the girls, I don't care how beautiful your jeans skirt looks or your jeans dress looks, you don't wear jeans to your nursing interview. No. You don't wear something that is so tight, you know, so skimpy and tight. Just say, we can see the contour or the demarcation of your bra and underwear in your attire. No. That is not acceptable because you are clothed but you are still revealing. We, you don't want to also wear something that exposes any part of your body too much. For example, a dress that is deep V that you can start seeing your uh, the, the line between your two breasts. No, we don't want any cleavages in your nursing interview. If anything at all, the lowest your neckline can go is a little below your clavicle. A little, the bone here, the bone here is what we call a clavicle. So if anything, then your neckline should be a little below your clavicle and you are good to go. If you are wearing a shirt, make sure if you can button it up to, uh, to at least up to here so that your cleavage is not showing. All right, okay. Now for the ladies, you can wear a skirt and a top, any skirt and top, but when picking the colors, make sure you are picking solids and uh, solid colors and even if you are picking something that has patterns or flowers or anything make sure you are pairing it with a solid color like the pictures i'm showing here it's all good you can wear so a solid color on the top and then maybe any pattern skirt or even a solid colored skirt is okay so either flare a shape fitting whatever you can wear that to your interview. You can be colorful. You can wear something that is colorful. Especially these chiffon tops that are light. You can iron them well and then put on even on top of your African print skirts and that you are good to go. You can wear African print skirts with a shirt, white shirt or a black shirt that you know matches very well. But what you can do is to wear a something that is busy like has flowers and all at the top and and then also wear put it on something that has patterns as either you look too busy uh -huh. <laughs> but to put together you can tuck it in if it's a skirt you can wear a skirt with a waistband that you can tuck in and look cute and nice so far as it's not so tight like if you want to wear a pencil skirt don't let it be so tight that when you, uh, you, we are working as if we are body about carbo <laughs> no so if you want to choose skirt and top these are the varieties you can choose from nobody will whip you for coming with in with your uh, african print skirts or 
with a shirt it's nice it's modest it's covering every place it's below or on your knee that's when you sit down it's not your tie your inner tie is not exposed you are good to go all right okay you can also wear straight dress you can choose an office wear either black uh, blue black cream any color that you want to but don't wear white uh, yeah skip the white if you have a, a dress that has white and other patterns that is nice not more than two patterns that is nice maybe black and white mixed together yes you can wear such a thing okay don't wear something that is above your knee don't wear something that when you're standing we can see your knee all of your knee don't wear such a thing because when you sit down it will pull back and expose your inner thigh and that is what we don't want so office dress yes you can wear your african print long dress either one with garters or pleats or anything with a shirt uh, a sleeve nice sleeve or no sleeve you know the broad sleeve kind of short sleeve uh -huh. you can wear such a thing to your interview nobody will beat you i wore something like that i think yeah i was for my interview i wore an african print dress my church dress so anything you feel comfortable wearing to church that is not so exposing you can wear to your interview now when it comes to sh uh, shoes always stick to flat shoes no heels no heels no noisy shoes at your interview it has to be flat it has to be a full shoe and even if you wear sandals even if because maybe that is what you have make sure it's clean and that you are not painting your toenails do not wear cross sandals with your toenails painted and exposed red flag that one is direct red flag so even if you wear cross sandals make sure it's clean and your toenails are well trimmed but not painted okay so wear a shoe if it's something that can be polished good it's rubber so you will not walk in and will hear your footsteps before you get into the room to sit before the panelists and you are good to go for earrings you have to keep something that is studded that is not so obvious you can't wear something that is dangling and if you have to wear any jewelry or anything it should be a watch and that is the end of it don't wear uh, chains or anklets and all of that no and if you are a muslim and you wear veil it's also accepted you just put your veil on and you are good to go for the guys you have to choose your trousers should be a, a solid color either brown beige um, brown beige black blue black you know the solid colors at the bottom and it should not be fitting men could share skin tight trousers it should not be fitting so tight and hanging there be it should whatever trouser you wear make sure it's free enough and long enough to fall on the edge of your shoe and you are good to go and also make sure that your belt color matches your shoe color if your belt is going to be exposed if you are going to tuck in because if you are wearing something like a shirt and a trouser and you are going to wear shoe on it you have to tuck in so if you are going to tuck in make sure that if you are wearing black shoe you are also wearing a black belt if you are wearing a brown shoe you are also wearing a brown belt it's one rule about gentleman dressing your belt should always match your shoe so don't go and wear white a belt with your brown shoe it's it's a mismatch but if your belt will not be exposed maybe you are wearing an african print top then you can get away with the color of the belt because nobody's gonna know so your trouser and then you can get any for the guys you are free to get any kind of uh top either checked uh, check uh those shirts with uh, lines all over or any plain shirts it's good for you to go just make sure you iron them very very well your trouser is neatly ironed you know even if you're the even if what you are wearing is cheap and old because you've ironed it maybe i was saying i am lucky and you add some spray starch to it and you oh uh you -huh. don't say why you yeah you are neat neatly dressed and with the guys to if any accessory then it should be a watch and that is it for the shoes make sure it's polishable something that for the guys wear shoes that are polishable and polish them neatly uh -huh. i hope this helps to 
guide you to pick some thin models for your interview it doesn't have to be a big deal just go looking nice and well put together if you be going for your interview a day before to spend the night in the school maybe because the school is offering accommodation so you want to go a day before to spend the night before your interview watch this video here i've put together some list of things that you can pack to make spending your nights comfortable and easy for the next day's activities. So click on the video here to watch. My name is Salasi. I'm a registered nurse here in Ghana and I wish you all the best of luck in your interviews. See ya. <laughs>